Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. So glad that you could join me today. I'm coming on because I want to do uh, something a little special. A uh, subscriber reached out to me and asked if I could possibly do a tutorial um, for this coat dress. And this is one that I showed you guys that I made uh, before out of the upcycled denim. So I gave it some thought and I decided, well, if I'm going to do the coat, I might as well do a couple of other projects as well and easy ones. So this can be a, a sew along. So what I want to try to do is... For the next three to four weeks that are left in September, I want to do a few sew alongs. And I want to call this project September Denim Days. And for the projects that I I want to do, you'll see you see the patterns here. Um I've, I've selected these other ones um, as, along with this one. So I want to do a tote bag. And you guys seen the tote bags in other videos that I've done. And I really like this new look, uh, 6095. I have made numerous tote bags from this pattern. And it is just my, my favorite. The next thing I want to do to go along with the tote bag is to make like this little bag dangle. And this is a memory uh, teddy bear. And it's a small, um, easy project. And you attach it to your book bag or, you know, tote bag or what have you. And so that will be uh, something that I'm going to uh, create together with this tote bag. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to do the coat again. And you've seen the line drawings here. And then for the third project, and this may, the videos, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what order that I'm going to do these in. I'll try to do... Um, I think what I'll do first is maybe the bucket hat because it's really easy. And then we'll do the tote bag with the dangle. And then I'll save the coat for my last project. And the only reason why I say that is, is because this coat is a little bit more uh, detailed. Now, it only has a few pieces, but the layout is what makes it just a little bit more uh, detail in the process. So I think I'll save this one for the last project uh, for the month. So um, for the bucket hat, I use Simplicity 9651. And this is a men's pattern, which has vest, t-shirt, long sleeve, and mid um, sleeve here el to the elbow. And this is the bucket hat that I'll be using. View D. And that's the line drawing on the back. And this is a simple hat to put together. So for these projects, what you're going to need is a couple of pair of denim jeans. And I went to the thrift store and I purchased at least like about four pairs. And I will show you how to take these apart. Uh, the ones that you see here, I already took apart. But I'll just go over it real simple again. Now, this is, I'll grab this one. This is one pair of pants. This is another pair, and I have two more on the side here. I just wanted to show you um, this. So what you're going to do when you get your pants, and this is the back, because you can see your label. In the inside, you 
and bear with me for a second because I just want to show you real quick. In the inside, you are going to rip along the seam of the pant leg. And I start from the bottom. So, as I was saying, you're going to take your seam ripper and you're just going to start at the bottom and then you're just going to go all along the seam here. Now, I try to leave this portion intact and I just go along the seam edge here. I get all the way up to the crotch area. I come over and I come down the second leg. Then in the back, I go up the back seam to the top where the waist is. Open that up. And then I do the same thing for the front. Now, I cut around the zipper and I'll show you. pretty much how that that looks so let's see this is the zipper to another pair of pants but once i come up this crotch area here i cut around and then i cut into the waistband and then i have this piece left here so keep all your pieces because this is where you can get into the process of uh, designing your own project to make it unique uh, you can use these for uh, a, no, just a variety of things. So I keep all my pieces once I've deconstructed the pants. So for this video, I'm not going to do a sew along. I just wanted to introduce to you what the uh, plan was to do these projects. So you got, you got time to... Grab you some jeans, and you can either go to a thrift store and get them, or if you have some old jeans at your uh, house, pull them all out, uh, open them up, and you'll be ready to start doing your pattern piece piecing. So, let me back up. I will show you what you'll get when you do that part about opening up the pant leg. And this is what I mean by having enough room to place your pattern pieces. So I try to get the largest size in men's pants uh, as possible. Um, because that way you'll have a lot more yardage to use uh, when you are constructing your pieces together. I hope that doesn't sound too complicated. It really isn't. Um, it just sounds like it. So let's just say, for example, I'm going to use this as a, I don't know, a skirt piece or either a, a sleeve. I have enough room to lay that pattern out here and cut it out. And this is what I mean by it. Some some things can be a little bit more detailed, like for the coat, uh, because you want to strategically lay your pattern down to where you can capture the most detail in the jean itself. So let's say this is a sleeve part and I wanted to keep this pocket intact. I would try to... Let's see, I'll just do this one as a quick example. Let's just say, okay, I'll use this as a pocket. I would want to lay this over an area that I would like to keep. You see what I mean? So that's what having the, the extra yardage will help in achieving the pieces that you want for your uh, design. So with that, uh, you can have um, also option two. Let me uh, let me back up again. 
what I did to get more yardage was to use both pieces and I sewed the leg like this from the one side to the other side. And I sewed those legs together. Now I have more room to lay like, let's say I wanted to make a, a, a skirt with a swing. Now I have more room to do that. And that's, you know, utilizing this, the, um, the yardage that you have in the denim. So get those jeans out. Let's get them ripped apart. And then I'll come back. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to have this video or not this video, but the next project, which I think we'll do the bucket hat. Cause I think that one's easy. We'll do that one. Um, I want to push for Saturday. So with that, everyone, let's get started. Get your patterns out and come back and join me. And we're going to um, have a good time constructing these four patterns with your upcycle jeans. So thank you again for joining me and thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. Um, I love sewing and I know you do as well. So let's get out and have some fun and be sure to come back for the next three videos. All right. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.